Are you ready for new programs? On uh, not here. Stop. We got uh, we got our programming is fine, but CBS. CBS. They're going to be launching a uh, a new reality show. We uh, we need more reality shows. <sighs> Aren't we all tired of the reality show? The 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 sameness of them with different things, whether it's a rose or a tiki idol or whatever whatever lets you stay, and then you get kicked off and you have to hand over something and then leave. It's all the same. It's been the same since, uh, what? What was, maybe maybe Survivor. First, though, they had reality shows like um, The Real World. But that wasn't really a competition. That was just, let's shove a bunch of people in a house and see what happens. But the competitive reality show was kind of like Survivor. With the whole immunity and then kicking people off the island that started the whole thing, and uh, it hasn't stopped. Decades they've been going with this. I was watching this, this awful show, Forged in Fire. <laughs> I hate it. I hate watch it all the time because it's the same reality show thing. They bring in uh, four or so uh, guys that uh, make swords and knives, you know? They forge them out of steel and fire. And uh, they have to make whatever the judges tell them they have to make, and then they have to be durable. So they'll stab it through metal thing, or they got to slice a rope with it, and things like that. And these guys come out, and it's so... Like, I wouldn't mind just a, a documentary on it. All right, I'll watch how these guys do this shit. It's kind of cool. But the, the reality show basis of it, where it's like one guy's sword isn't good enough, and they go, please surrender your weapon. The guy's got to come to the desk. It's like, now leave the forge. <laughs> and then they walk out in slow motion with the voiceover going, well, it was a great chance that I had to do that. It's so typical. And then there's one guy that needs a catchphrase. So he's the guy, the Asian guy. When they introduce him, he goes, like to show that he's Asian <laughs> and martial artsy. And uh, he's the guy that, yeah, here he is. He, your sword will kill. It will kill. They have a montage of him saying it. You got volume? No. He's working on it. <laughs> this is his catchphrase. He does the things where he chops through the pigs and, uh, yeah, big. <laughs> and these guys are all like rednecks. Well, I never did this before. And they try to bring drama to it. Like at one point, you got to dip your, your sword in oil to temper it. And it's like, oh, he's, he's, he's going for the, yeah, he's going for the quench. Oh, really? Who cares? Gives a shit. Will kill. No, you can't get volume. That's weird. Overall, sir, your weapon? Oh. Will kill. Will kill. Your weapon? Will kill. It will kill. Overall, sir, it will kill. It will Why kill. Why does he do this? It will kill. He thinks so. he's it's got yeah. a catchphrase. It will kill. It will kill. It will kill. It will thing kill. is... It will kill. Why does he say kill? kill? Overall, sir. Did not want to say kill. It will kill. It will kill. Make bacon and kill. Your weapon will kill. Oh God, it's so annoying. But again, it, I hate watching because of that reality show format that they try to do. It's like your weapon. You, you, yeah. Your, your sword did not make the cut. That's what he says. The host did not make the cut. Please surrender your weapon to the judges. And they're all degraded. Come up. Uh, this one is called, a new show called The Activist. They had a thread wokeness into these reality shows. She is launching a reality TV show called The Activist, in which contestants will compete in ways to bring meaningful change to various health, education, and environmental causes. Ugh. Ugh. You're a... Uh... Mission, let's see, head-to-head -head missions, media stunts, digital campaigns, and community events aimed at garnering the attention of the world's most powerful decision makers. Demanding action now. Oh, this is gonna stink. R&B pop star Usher is poised to host the five-episode series when it premieres October 22nd. And Dancing with the Stars alum uh, Juliana Hoff and actor... 
Priyanka, Priyanka, my cog, Chopra Jonas will serve as co-host. <clears throat> Very diverse. Social media uh, metrics, online engagement, and the show's hosts will determine the winner of the series. So it's another thing. You got to vote online and uh, do all that crap. The ultimate goal for the winner of the reality TV show, the network said, is to make it uh, the, the Group of 20 Summit in Rome next month. So make it to the Group of 20 Summit for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet the world leaders in the hopes of securing funding and invaluable awareness for their cause. This is, it's all the bullshit you see, but now they're presenting it like, like you have to watch it in a show. Why would you watch this when you see it on the news and go, oh, fuck that noise? The show, produce, global, blah, 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 inspire real change. The audience will see the activist passion and commitment for their causes tested as they petition world leaders to take urgent action to re resolve the interconnected crisis we face. Doesn't that sound great? Talk about not funny, Chrissy. How about that show? Call that show up. <laughs> Tell them I don't see any entertainment value whatsoever in the activist you think they'll bring, uh, like, activists on? Like, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here this week for your global climate change uh, meeting, Greta Thunberg has jo is joining us, and she'll come out, bar, bar. I bet they do that. And then they'll do some White House thing. You're going to the White House today to meet with the Secretary of the Interior. <laughs> Ooh, who's that? Oh, God. They just can't stop. They can't stop shoving this shit down your throat.